So, hello, now I want you to show how to make a better ED uh, because it's not about uh, just a texturing, it's about making it more rea realistic. So, uh, she's a robot, okay? She needs a bit of glossy things because she's, she's material, it's not skin. Uh, it's uh, some, I don't know <laughs> what form she's made, but she's a bit glossy. So we will start with uh, her body. I also uh, did the settings, how to textured and add the bitmap. That's all what I did. So I'll double click on the standard, uh, change this to a bit black, and uh, add also here the glossiness. So now I'll we'll open maps. And uh, here, the speckle level I will set around uh, 400, and this around 50, and the glossiness around 60. We'll see how it looks. So, it looks now good. You can see there's light but we will see how it looks when we render it so it looks too glossy so we need to adjust a few things so we will add this around the 70 maybe and it still don't look good so I will add about this lower to 60 it was good and this around 45 this looks pretty good so okay I, I will stick to this and you can do whatever you want it it will look better how it looks from here it looks pretty good maybe we can add a bit more glossiness so uh, this should be totally white so around uh, 50 50 that's a bit too much, but okay. So I stick on her body. My settings are a specular level is 400. Uh, the glossiness are is 50, and the glossiness is 45. So this was her body. We will do the same to her uh, head, but we need to be careful because um, it looks a bit strange on her head. Uh, not every part uh, can have the same settings. So now we will add the glossiness and uh, set this, the standard for the head, make this black and this down white. So uh, specular level we will start with around 400 and this about 50 and we will open maps and uh, glossiness around 60, we'll, we'll try how it looks. So it looks good, but we, when we will render it, it looks too glossy. So again, we will lower this to around 40. Okay, this looks pretty good. This looks really good. So a bit too much, maybe here, but never mind. So also her face needs glossiness. So again, add the glossiness. Select this, the standard, and uh, black, and around uh, 450, and uh, the glossiness around, I don't know, we'll start with 40. So, it looks good now. We'll try to render this. Oh, not bad. So... Oh, maybe we can add more glossiness so it looks a bit now weird. So 60. No, it's low. So we'll rise this to around. We'll lower that for 30 so it will be larger. The glossiness should be maybe a bit more so around. Uh, 45 no maybe 
No, that's too little, so around 35, I will think that will be enough. So, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so you can also do however, however you like it. Now what we will do is her eye, eyes, so we will open her head, so editable mesh element and yes, and put her visor up, so we can see her beautiful eyes. So now we will go over here and uh, press this, and again this set to black, and at the glow specular level I will start with 300, and the glossness around 20. We will see what it it's too too glossy. You can see that you can see her eyes inside. So I will rise this around fifty. Oh yeah, that looks good. So I think I will stay with this. That looks pretty good. Maybe her face needs more glossiness, but never mind. So I will lower this down again and okay so now we have textured uh, her glossiness on her so we will okay so now we will do the visor it is most most hardest uh, thing from her uh, uh, skinning so uh, we will do this so oh you have this thing over here I already set it it's visor so you need to find the texture for the visor and it is this the ED emis so apply it uh, so disconnect this and you need to copy this three times so one two three and uh, you need to make a map and a new RGB tint and copy this three times only two times now and uh, make new map and composite so and then the composite double click on it and edit a new layer so now we, we will we will everything uh, paste together so uh, is, this is the first layer this is the, the top ones and this is the bottom are the layer two so and this connect to the diffuse color Okay, and these two things we will connect to the opacity uh, and uh, specular level and also the self illumination. So now it should look like this. Mm, okay. So now what we will need to do is also here set this to the subtract and uh, this, this, uh, the second visor double click on it and uh, set the tilling around 15 and the uh, angle around 90 so it will make a little stripes on on her here you can see it but not too much we will add more things and it will look better so uh, maybe we can set the tilling around 15 what it will do not much looks even not good so we'll try tilling around to what it will do it's just not that what I wanted so maybe 10 will be good oh well 10 is good I think never mind so now we will add the RGB tint and we need to make this uh, orange because dark orange because she have a dark orange of visor or how it how she have that so maybe this is not too dark maybe something like this almost red and uh, here down do the same so something like this copy this and uh, send this to the some white white whiter so okay uh, now what we need to do is go here and set the specular level 
again on the orange so it looks good but still not good so and here the RGB tint we need to make this really really orange and uh, this we will make a little bit whiter so now it should look good and uh, we will double click on this and uh, on the standard and uh, self illumination and put the color over there so it looks now now looks something like that that would make this more red okay so it is but it's pretty clear so uh, we want it a bit harder so I will add more I will add more so opacity we will lower this to around uh, maybe 20 we'll look how it looks so it looks too strange so that's not our option or maybe 50 50 will be uh, acceptable but still I have here the blue blue things if you can see that I'm not sure oh, I will render it out like this you can see these are the blue stripes I don't know how to change it because it's making the stripes blue and not the orange like I wanted so okay mm. So now this should be our ED. It looks pretty quite good from the from the uh, from the far, but we can also add to her body a bit of reflection. I think reflection maybe it looks strange because we don't have any objects here and it looks too wide. So we can put down the glossiness and. Uh, or, or put down the, uh, the reflection so reflection around now it should be like a mirror so we can see ourselves in that but reflection around maybe 40 still too white but maybe it will look better when we add more things so I still don't know how to get rid of that blue things here so but it's pretty good when you want to pose her and make some pretty nice uh, pretty nice pictures also what I want you to show is uh, the render settings so when you put here the render and the render setup uh, you will scroll down uh, here you can uh, the output width so if you want to full HD pictures or lower so it's on you but uh, here you can go on asign render and uh, put it on uh, the mental array it really is hard for the PC to render it so you will see it's taking uh, quite a while and I have uh, the four core so but I think it uh, it's the best render we can see the really sharp edges around her oh no here but here are really sharp so still she have the blue tint blue tint thing here so I don't like it but whatever I can do my skills are limited <laughs> so if you have some uh, as uh, advices how to make it better please tell me because I'm still learning and I want to thank uh, Halucinogen Mushroom he helped me with this a lot I will put, uh, put his uh, DeviantArt gallery in uh, the description so you can see his work it's really great so thank you thanks for watching